It is either true and it changes everything or it is a lie and a damnable lie. You don't get a middle ground. You don't get to say, well, it brings a lot of good. It's either true or it's not. It either actually happened, literally happened 2,000 years ago. There was a guy who was killed brutally, put in a tomb, and then came back out alive after death. Not kept on a heart lung machine for a few days and then woke up from a coma. Not was in a deep sleep, was dead, and came out. Why do you believe what you believe? Why do you believe what you believe about the resurrection? It defines us. If you carry the name Christian, it really defines you. It defines history. History pivots on this event. Why do you believe what you believe? You've got, you got Peter who is rushing in to find the fullness of what it means. You have John who's sticking his toe in at the edge. And, and it wasn't that John wasn't spontaneous. Remember, John's the guy who walked by, he and his brother, and saw a city that wouldn't accept Christ. And tried to get it, they went ahead to have Christ come in and stay, and the people said, no, he's on his way to Jerusalem, we don't want him here. And they came back and said, Jesus, they won't let us in there. Can we please call down fire from heaven and destroy them? It's not that John was a pretty casual dude, right? He was a passionate, all out, not always thinking about himself. But in this instance, as he faces the resurrection, he's like, huh, I'm not sure what that means to me. Might be true, might impact me, but I'm going to keep it a little bit at an arm's length, and I'm not that desperate. You've got Peter, who is diving in, going, I have to know if it's true, because there's, this is the only way out of where I am. And you have Mary, who's trying to control it. How do you know what you believe? Why do you believe what you believe? Discuss your own opinion. Why do you believe 